Okay, okay, we are back with some more Doja Cat. Next up is Head High, produced by Curtis McKenzie, Emil, not the Emil, a different Emil, Joe Harrison. Okay, okay, let's check it out. That's... Is that a sample? Cause that's a nice sample. That's that is clean, dude. Ooh. Ah, hold my head high. I see. Dude, dude, those drums. This is nice. This is nice. Those drums, though, they got like some wood block perks in the background, and it just makes the drums have this nice rhythm, dude. And it's just, oh, it's so nice. This is cool. Mm. Dude, guys, guys, I don't, I'm trying to think of a Doja Cat song. I didn't like download all of her songs I reacted to anything, but like, I can't think of a song that sounds like this, where it's like, kind of hypnotic, kind of trippy. And it's just like the way She'll say like a bar, or not even like just for one beat. She'll say a bar, and it just fades out and leaves that like open space. It gives it time to breathe, and it just—I don't know, man. I think this is really—I uh, don't, I don't remember anything like this. It's trippy as shit. <laughs> ah. mm. This is trippy. She took me by surprise coming in here with like the typical like like not to say a fast verse but like just a classic doja verse because i thought maybe it might continue on with the first verse did um but you know what i'm kind of glad it didn't i'm kind of glad it didn't because i love a classic doja verse and the way she delivered it their her enunciation as well was just so well done um they dragged my name through the web they should call me spider bitch <laughs> um you got no designer, you gotta take care of your mama and them. Um, you work nine to fives and you still manage to, co to comment this. Ah, oh, fuck is your problem, bitch. I know you ain't proud of this. Deep down, you just wish you didn't feel stuck. See, I'm wondering if this is like a little bit of projection here. Maybe just a little bit of projection here where it's like deep down, maybe Doja feels stuck. Maybe like people trying to label her whatever, like, you know, and she feels stuck like that. Lost face in humanity, also lost in common sense. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't think commenting, like, people's comments are, it's not that deep, dude. People see something, they don't even, like, pay attention to the entirety of it, and they just leave a stupid comment and just 
that's gone out of their mind you know what i mean like they don't think about it so um yeah fuck the commenters dude fuck not not you guys though uh i love you guys <laughs> but like mean comments dude fuck that shit don't think twice Mm. I don't know if this is a sample or not. I really want to know. What is this? Wait, that was trippy again. That was trippy again. Wait, I don't remember Ouchies. 97, go off, gun. I don't remember. Oh, wet vagina. <laughs> I don't remember those songs. This is a hit. Classic. Yup. 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 This comment right here, this emote, dude, that means classic. It's a classic. This and Disrespectful are the best songs. She didn't have to eat like this. Man, she snapped. She did, dude. I really love what she did with this. Um, <clears throat> and that first verse was so big. I think having a first verse like that in a stylistic way is... It makes the track special. You know what I mean? Instead of just like having a fire beat and they just drop two rap verses. Like, that's cool. That's cool. You can spit your bars, do some crazy wordplay stuff. But... I feel like a track's more unique when you like mess with things and do things a little bit differently. You know, I'm not saying like do things like far out, no, but just a little bit differently. And that's what she did here. And it's amazing. It's a great freaking track. Sounds so nostalgic, like one of her SoundCloud songs. It kind of does. I feel like everyone's overlooking how vulnerable the song is and what the message is. I hope she's healing from all the bullshit she's been going through because it can't be easy, especially being under public scrutiny literally every day. Yeah being famous seems insane dude like it's cool but then also it's just constant you can't look at your socials i seem i feel like that's the only way to to really handle that it's just don't look at your socials and get your team to do it and and like filter out all the dog shit for you um because there's gonna be a lot of dog shit the adult version of so high oh oh i forgot about that song i get it i do get it I can't believe that we're finally listening to the deluxe version of Scarlet. The angst, the alternative feel, the gorilla's neo soul sound. I love everything about this. Definitely my favorite song on the album. I like that. Head high, Baloo, can't wait, Skull and Bones. Okay, they're listing off a bunch of songs, saying it's nostalgic, giving 80s, 90s, early 2000s. Version 2.0. Alright. Yeah, I like this track a lot. I think this track goes hard as hell. Um, and you got that rap verse when you're trying to like focus in, but then you also got that like laid back, like whoo, echo freaking reverb verse that just like lets you chill out. I think it's a dope ass song, man. Keep it really, man. Keep what will I rate this track? I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go like a 9 6. I'm gonna go a 9 6 because I like it, dude. I think it's a tough track and it's a good chiller track to listen to. Hell yeah.